Happy New Year guys! Happy 2018! I hope your 2017 ended in style and you were happy with the way things ended because I am. Even though I've had some lows during the end, last part of, this, of 2017, um, overall 2017 has been a really really good year for me. I've found myself a new lease of life, losing all this weight, I'm happier within myself, I'm more confident in myself and I have this channel and I never thought any of this would be possible. There are loads of people that have made this year, the, in my eyes again, the best year for me as a personal journey um, and I just want to thank them. So first of all, I've waffled on about her before. She knows exactly how I feel. I brought her a lovely present to, to thank her, you know, to thank her, and that is Amy. So if she didn't, you know, apply herself and she didn't show me that it's a simple process, it's not easy, but it is a simple process. So thank you, Amy, so much for um, showing me that anyone can do it and I'm really proud about of, of how far you've come, really proud of your journey and I'm proud to call you my friend and I can't wait for our target tatties at tea time tea. When we both hit target we will be going um, out for a meal, hopefully at Resort World as long as there is no events because apparently the events menu is not as good <laughs> but I can't wait to finally hit target and um, enjoy that as well. Um, secondly, anyone that spoke at SlimCon, um, especially uh, Jane, Helen and Patrick, you guys, and Andy, sorry, uh, you guys really made me feel like anything was possible, hence why I now have this channel, this is why I am sat here talking to a camera, um, yeah, just like thank you, you guys you don't realise what you've done for people. I've said this before, I probably am a broken record, but I just wanted to say thank you for giving up your time to be there for all us other Slimming Worlders that probably did need that little bit extra kick um, and guidance. So thank you very much. I, I want to thank my mum of this year because she started Slimming World with me and she's prop she's really kept me on the straight and narrow regarding meals and um, planning and buying food and things like that. She's really, really embraced it with me. She's actually now at Target. Um, she has lost one stone and 12 pound, 12 and a half pound I think. So, for my mummy. Um, and she's really, really encouraging. So, thank you, Mum. So, beginning of 2017, I was 15 stone something. And then in the March, finally joined Slim World for the third and final time. Um, and now I am officially 11 stone, eight and a half pound, um, as of the last time I checked my weight. Um, as I've mentioned already, that I am actually doing blind weighing until February the 6th as I just need to take some pressure off myself. Um, I just need to concentrate on uh, me and Sean and just, I'm still following it and I'm still hoping for losses. I just don't want to put myself under pressure because if I do gain and I know I've gained, then it might put, a, you know, it might put a darker side up things and I don't want to do that to myself because I know I can do this. I just need to give myself a little bit of time but yeah, 2018 is going to be the year I get to target, I get the body that I want because I will be picking up on body magic, I'll be walking with my mum, I'll be doing some floor exercises, I'll be doing some squats, trying to get all of this to where I want it and I'm just really excited and I really, really want to thank all of you as well for anyone that has subscribed. Um, I never thought, I only started this in September and I obviously was on a bit of a roll uh, with uh, Vlog Ember and things like that um, but then obviously things started to get on top of me but thank you, thank you, thank you for all that have stuck with me and I now have a, I have over 300 followers, like subscribers, so thank you all, you don't, it really spurs me on, like 
I didn't think I would be doing videos as often as I am planning to now. I've already got, I didn't plan to do this until last week and then I have two more videos I want to do and I'm going to try and do some recipe videos because me and my mum are trying new um, new recipes from the comfort book and then when the new book comes out whatever it may be I will be purchasing that because I really like the ideas and I really want to show you guys how easy they are because if I can do it you can do it trust me before this I was never a really good cook but we would we'll, we'll help each other through this I just want to also say a big good luck to my big sister Teresa and um, she is finally um, joining Slimming World after so long of saying it, she is finally doing it and I couldn't be prouder. So good luck on your journey, I'm always here for you, everyone is here for you, don't forget to look at other people on YouTube, not just me, not just because you're being a supportive big sister, but try and use uh, YouTube and Instagram to your advantage and I can't wait to see how you look this time next year. Obviously I'll see, see her during the year but I can't wait to see uh, from this moment to this time next year how far you've come because I know you're going to smash it this time I am super super proud of you and 2018 is going to be our year tree it's going to be our year so yeah that is my reflection of 2017 and my hopes for 2018 I do want to be at Target I don't know if I've already said this in this video I'm completely lost I've got so many things going in my head but I want to be at Target by June as I'm going to Ladies Day at the races with my mum and her work pals um, and I really want to look nice I want to have a lovely dress my mum is going to buy me a lovely dress um, and I have to be ready early in the morning so I want to be able to practice hair and makeup and enjoy the day and I want to be at Target while doing that so fingers crossed for me and I'm going to really apply myself I'm not going to I'm not going to put myself under too much pressure but I am really going to apply myself now Christmas has just been and like a lot of people I got some money and I got some lovely presents so I just wanted to show you a few little things that I got this year um, because I'm really really happy with them like obviously as you get older what you get becomes reduced but I don't really mind I'm not a materialistic person um, I, I, I'm grateful for every little thing I receive um, so the first thing I already knew I was getting is some more ink time on the sleeve gonna get this gonna get this area coloured and then some more characters coming up um, I'll be having three hours two for Christmas and one for my birthday that's in February so thank you mummy um, I also got I had an early Christmas present off my dad and my stepmom and that was these lights that were recommended by Patrick also known as weighing time if you don't know who he is and I absolutely love these lights they are so bright and I use them every day for general things because the light in my room isn't that bright so I use these to do my hair and makeup every single day so thank you Patrick for recommending these these are brilliant and thank you dad and Lorraine for buying them for me on top of that they gave me some extra money which I will show you what I brought with some of that <clears throat> now my stepdad is absolutely lovely he has been so supportive throughout since he's been involved in my life he's been so supportive and caring but he is tight we make jokes and when he opens a the wallet we do joke that there might be muffs coming out or anything but he he really really surprised me this year and I'm really happy because obviously just like most families out there the dads find out what the kids have got for Christmas on Christmas Day as well. It's it's a known fact that a lot of families work the same way. Um, so when I received um, this, I was over the moon. This actually won Christmas presents for me. Um, I absolutely love owls and I've got this cute owl mug. I mean, how adorable is that? And it's got quite a lot like a large volume as well I had a hot chocolate in there the other day and it was there was so much in there I didn't realize it would hold so much but it is so 
so damn cute. I couldn't believe when I saw it. I was like, <gasps> and inside there was a little Thornton's teddy bear that was crumbled and in pieces. Um, so I ate that straight away. I literally just opened the wrapper and then I took it like a shot that it was up crumbled. But yeah, I'm really, really happy with that mug. It is my favourite of all time now. Another thing my mum got me. My mum is sneaky. So my mum got me and both of my sisters the same thing. I don't know if she did it to my sisters, but you see this little dangly thing? This was already on her birthday week. Um, obviously I know when her birthday is, but I went to write her birthday in the in the diary, as you do when you get a new one, you put everyone's birthdays in it, and the uh, thing was already in here. So yeah, Teresa, Tara, let me know, did mum do this for you? <laughs> But I, I think it is so adorable. So, got Cinderella. Remember, if the shoe fits, gets the whole outfit. Got Ariel, Belle, Rapunzel. Um, got some more in here. And each month, there's a different silhouette of a princess. So, everyone's birthday's in there. All my um, drag queen... Um, night out are in there and I can't wait for the majority of them and I got a little set, set of impulses who remembers these in school so I'm 24 so I don't know if anyone older than me had the same experience or anyone younger but I know when I was in school these were you couldn't breathe sometimes in the changing rooms everyone would just spray it everywhere um so when I did get them I had a bit of a uh trip to the past very nostalgic is it is that the word i'm looking for nostalgic nostalgia let me know if i'm right or wrong probably wrong but what are you gonna do but yeah i was really really chuffed with those and then i got some cute pajam jams i always get pajamas for christmas off my mama so those are the shorts i love the color and the um, tartan pattern and then it was a plain little hoodie kind of thing so i've worn them last night and the hood's got little pandery it's how cute is that so yeah i had a really good haul and i was super super happy with that i did get a lovely gift card from my work as well so i had um all together 60 60 60 60 65 I think I had £65 to spend. <laughs> I can't remember now. But um, I ordered products from New Look and Superdrug, I think. Yeah, Superdrug. Um, so they are yet to be delivered because of the um, Christmas New Year period. They can't guarantee a quick delivery. So I have to wait five to seven working days which is fine i understand but i'm just really really excited and i will be doing videos on that as well so 2018 is going to be the year that i really commit to some proper videos um but yeah i can't wait to do those for you but in the meantime i did go to primani and i had 15 pounds of my budget left and i think i did very well for £15. So the first thing that I saw when I walked into Primark was these skirts. So I don't know what fabric you would say they are like Peyton or something like that. Uh, but they've got a very leathery looking feel and look to them. There's absolutely no give in that waistband. So even though I am a comfortable size 12 at the moment, and these this is a 12, it is still a little bit tighter than um, I would be comfortable wearing it out in public. So a few more pounds and I can wear that. So that's my mini um, target, that's from my mini goal. Uh, that should have been 13 pounds, but I paid a fiver. So I think that was a real good deal. Uh, again, really cannot wait. new year 
there guys, happy 2018. I hope your 2017 ended in style and you were happy with the way things ended because I am. Even though I've had some lows during the end, last part of, this, of 2017, um, overall 2017 has been a really, really good year for me. I've found myself a new lease of life, losing all this weight. I'm happier within myself, I'm more confident in myself and I have this channel and I never thought any of this would be possible. There are loads of people that have made this year, the, in my eyes again, the best year for me as a personal journey um, and I just want to thank them. So first of all, I've waffled on about her before. She knows exactly how I feel. I brought her a lovely present to, to thank her, you know, to thank her, and that is Amy. So if she didn't, you know, apply herself and she didn't show me that it's a simple process, it's not easy, but it is a simple process. So thank you, Amy, so much for um, showing me that anyone can do it. And I'm really proud about uh, of, of how far you've come, really proud of your journey. And I'm proud to call you my friend. And I can't wait for our target tatties at Tea Time Tea. When we both hit target, we will be going um, out for a meal, hopefully at Resort World, as long as there is no events. Because apparently the events menu is not as good. <laughs> but I can't wait to finally hit target and um, enjoy that as well. Um, secondly, anyone that spoke at SlimCon, um, especially uh, Jane, Helen and Patrick, you guys, and Andy, sorry, uh, you guys really made me feel like anything was possible, hence why I now have this channel, this is why I am sat here talking to a camera. Um, yeah, just like thank you, you guys you don't realise what you've done for people. I've said this before, I probably am a broken record, but I just wanted to say thank you for giving up your time to be there for all us other Slimming Worlders that probably did need that little bit extra kick um, and guidance. So thank you very much. I, I want to thank my mum of this year because she started swimming well with me and she's prop she's really kept me on the straight and narrow regarding meals and um planning and buying food and things like that she's really really embraced it with me she's actually now at target um she has lost one stone and 12 pound 12 and a half pound i think so for my mummy um and she's really really encouraging so Thank you, Mum. So, the beginning of 2017, I was 15 stone something, and then in the March, finally joined Slim World for the third and final time um, and now I am officially 11 stone eight and a half pound um, as of the last time I checked my weight um, as I've mentioned already that I am actually doing blind weighing until February the 6th as I just need to take some pressure off myself um, I just need to concentrate on uh, me and Sean and just I'm still following it and I'm still hoping for losses. I just don't want to put myself under pressure because if I do gain and I know I've gained, then it might put a you know, it might put a darker side up things and I don't want to do that to myself because I know I can do this. I just need to give myself a little bit of time. But yeah, 2018 is going to be the year I get to target. I get the body that I want because I will be picking up on body magic. I'll be walking with my mum. I'll be doing some floor exercises. I'll be doing some squats, trying to get all of this to where I want it. And I'm just really excited. And I really, really want to thank all of you as well for anyone that has subscribed. Um, I never thought, I only started this in September and I obviously was on a bit of a roll uh, with uh, Vlog Ember and things like that. Um, but then obviously things started to get on top of me. But thank you, 
thank you, thank you for all that have stuck with me. And I now have a, I have over 300 followers, like subscribers. So thank you all. You don't, it really spurs me on. Like, I didn't think I would be doing videos as often as I am planning to now. I've already got, I didn't plan to do this until last week. And then I have two more videos I want to do. And I'm going to try and do some recipe videos because me and my mum are trying new, um, new recipes from the comfort book and then when the new book comes out wherever it may be I will be purchasing that because I really like the ideas and I really want to show you guys how easy they are because if I can do it you can do it trust me before this I was never a really good cook but we would we'll, we'll help each other through this I just want to also say a big good luck to my big sister Teresa um, she is finally um, joining Slimming World after so long of saying it, she is finally doing it and I couldn't be prouder. So good luck on your journey, I'm always here for you, everyone is here for you, don't forget to look at other people on YouTube, not just me, not just because you're being a supportive big sister, but try and use uh, YouTube and Instagram to your advantage and I can't wait to see how you look this time next year. Obviously I'll see, see her during the year but I can't wait to see uh, from this moment to this time next year how far you've come because I know you're going to smash it this time I am super super proud of you and 2018 is going to be our year tree it's going to be our year so yeah that is my reflection of 2017 and my hopes for 2018 I do want to be at Target I don't know if I've already said this in this video I'm completely lost I've got so many things going in my head but I want to be at Target by June as I'm going to ladies day at the races with my mum and her work pals um, and I really want to look nice I want to have a lovely dress my mum is gonna buy me a lovely dress um, and I have to be ready early in the morning so I want to be able to practice hair and makeup and enjoy the day and I want to be at Target while doing that so fingers crossed for me and I'm gonna really apply myself I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put myself under too much pressure but I am really gonna apply myself now enough waffling on right so Christmas has just been and like a lot of people I got some money and I got some lovely presents so I just wanted to show you a few little things that I got this year um, because I'm really really happy with them like obviously as you get older what you get becomes reduced but I don't really mind I'm not a materialistic person um, I, I, I'm grateful for every little thing I receive um, so the first thing I already knew I was getting is some more ink time on the sleeve gonna get this Gonna get this area coloured and then some more characters coming up um, I'll be having three hours two for Christmas and one for my birthday. That's in February. So thank you mummy um, I also got I had an early Christmas present off my dad and my stepmom and that was these lights that were recommended by Patrick also known as weighing time if you don't know who he is and I absolutely love these lights they are so bright and I use them every day for general things because the light in my room isn't that bright so I use these to do my hair and makeup every single day so thank you Patrick for recommending these these are brilliant and thank you dad and Lorraine for buying them for me on top of that they gave me some extra money which I will show you what I brought with some of that <clears throat> now my stepdad is absolutely lovely he has been so supportive throughout since he's been involved in my life he's been so supportive and caring but he is tight we make jokes and when he opens a the wallet we do joke that there might be muffs coming out or anything but he he really really surprised me this year and I'm really happy because obviously just like most families out there the dads find out what the kids have got for Christmas on Christmas Day as well. It's it's a known fact that a lot of families work the same way. Um, so when I received um, this, I was over the moon. This actually won Christmas presents for me. Um, I absolutely love owls and I've got this cute owl mug. I mean, how adorable 
is that and it's got quite a lot like a large volume as well i had a hot chocolate in there the other day and it was there was so much in there i didn't realize it would hold so much but it is so so damn cute i couldn't believe when i saw it i was like <gasps> and inside there was a little thornton's teddy bear that was crumbled and in pieces um so i ate that straight away i literally just opened the wrapper and then I took it like a shot that it was up crumbled but yeah i'm really really happy with that mug it is my favorite of all time now another thing my mum got me my mum is sneaky so my mum got me and both of my sisters the same thing i don't know if she did it to my sisters but you see this little dangly thing this was already on her birthday week um obviously i know when her birthday is but i went to write her birthday in the in the diary as you do when you get a new one you put everyone's birthdays in it and the uh thing was already in here so yeah Teresa, tara let me know did mum do this for you <laughs> But I, I think it is so adorable. So, got Cinderella. Remember, if the shoe fits, gets the whole outfit. Got Ariel, Belle, Rapunzel. Um, got some more in here. And each month, there's a different silhouette of a princess. So, everyone's birthday's in there. All my um, drag queen... Um, night out are in there and i can't wait for the majority of them and i got a little set, set of impulses who remembers these in school so i'm 24 so i don't know if anyone older than me had the same experience or anyone younger but i know when i was in school these were you couldn't breathe sometimes in the changing rooms everyone would just spray it everywhere um so when i did get them i had a bit of a uh trip to the past very nostalgic is it is that the word i'm looking for nostalgic nostalgia let me know if i'm right or wrong probably wrong but what are you gonna do but yeah i was really really chuffed with those and then i got some cute pajama james i always get pajamas for christmas off my mama so those are the shorts i love the color and the um, tartan pattern and then it was a plain little hoodie kind of thing so i've worn them last night and the hood's got little pandemies how cute is that so yeah i had a really good haul and i was super super happy with that i did get a lovely gift card from my work as well so i had um all together 60 60 60 60 65 I think I had £65 to spend, <laughs> I can't remember now, but um, I ordered products from New Look and Superdrug, I think, yeah, Superdrug, um, so they are yet to be delivered because of the um, Christmas New Year period, they can't guarantee a quick delivery, so I have to wait five to seven working days which is fine i understand but i'm just really really excited and i will be doing videos on that as well so 2018 is going to be the year that i really commit to some proper videos um but yeah i can't wait to do those for you but in the meantime i did go to primani and i had 15 pounds of my budget left and i think i did very well for £15. So the first thing that I saw when I walked into Primark were these skirts. So I don't know what fabric you would say they are like Peyton or something like that. Uh, but they've got a very leathery looking feel and look to them. There's absolutely no give in that waistband. So even though I am a comfortable size 12 at the moment, and these this is a 12, it is still a little bit tighter than um, I would be comfortable wearing it out in public. So a few more pounds and I can wear that. So that's my mini um, target, that's from my mini goal. Uh, that should have been £13, but I paid a fiver. So I think that was a real good deal. Uh, again, really cannot wait. I've got glitter all over it. 
from certain items that I will be coming to. Secondly, I saw this lovely velvet dress. So me and Amy went to Primark, I think it was the day before, um, and she, I was like, oh, this is lovely. Uh, but apparently Papa Bagnall doesn't like, like velvet. Um, <laughs> but I went back and I was like, I really actually like it. So I did actually buy it this time. Uh, so it is a dress. I haven't tried it on yet, but it is a 12, so I'm sure it'll be fine. It's got um, the floral pattern on it. It has got straps on it. But they cross over, so I don't know whether I'll be wearing them like that. Or if I'll just tuck them in um, somehow um, and wear it as a whole neck. But I'm really excited to wear that. Um, that should have been £10, but again, only paid a fiver. So amazing savings already. I then had £5 left, and I was like, I don't know what to get. Now, I never spend money on things like this. I can't justify spending money on these things but when I saw them and I saw the reductions I had to buy them so they are Disney Mickey Mouse um, baubles for next year they should have been a fiver but I got them for £2 each so I'm really excited to put those on my tree wherever I may be next year um, yeah I've always wanted them finally got them because I could I had the money and I and they will mean a lot next year when I ha finally have them on my tree because I know that they came from my um we'll say dad Lorraine and my granddad um don't have to specify they all gave me money so that's that'll be where the glitter came from on the other things and then I just had a pound left so I just got myself just a plain ish I like the little ruffly kind of um, sleeve area and that is also size 12 so yeah that is my Primark mini haul <laughs> um, before Christmas as well I actually treated myself I know I'm treating myself left right and centre here apparently um, but I went to Avon so I didn't go to Avon Avon came to me um, someone at my mum's work had the book and I had a look and they had a really really good deal so I am experimenting a lot more with makeup as I'm going along and I've never been a lip kind of person um because I have really dry lips <laughs> and they they just crack but I treated myself to first of all it there was an eyebrow kit there was a wax and a powder um that was I think seven pound and there was a deal if you spend seven pound you get a 32 pound bundle for 12 pounds so I did that and I got four lovely new lipsticks so I have got on today the um, all natural so that's that and Considering I don't do lips, I'm quite happy with my um, application and they're not that dry. It's quite moisturising when it goes on. And then also in that pack was Pure Pink. I have worn that already and I really like the colour. I then got Red Supreme. And then this was Superb Wine. This is like a purpley colour. If it focuses, there we go. Um, yeah, if, if anyone else buys from Avon and has any... Oh, am I going to focus? Ooh. Yeah, if anyone else buys from Avon and you've got any of the products that you really like, um, let me know because I'm, I'm always experimenting these days. I want to find my look, my products, but... I will just do a quick swatch on my arm and show you the colours. Yeah. 
So these are the colours on my skin. So this is the pure pink. That is the supreme red. And that is the superb wine. I love them all and I've been wearing them all and I'm again I'm not really a lip person but recently I've been wearing it so let me know what you think yeah I like it I like it and I will be that that's all for today so that um I hope you've enjoyed today's video again I know I've said it already and I know I keep saying I've said it already but thank you thank you thank you for all your support your subscribes and comments they really mean a lot to me if you don't already follow me on Instagram feel free I'll leave my uh, link below and if there is any other kind of videos you want me to do or to give me ideas that it is very much appreciated as I say still fairly new to this whole game and I really do want to make a good go of it in 2018 but until then I really hope 2018 is the year for you good luck and I hope you have a really really nice year bye I've got glitter all over it from certain items that I will be coming to. Secondly, I saw this lovely velvet dress. So me and Amy went to Primark, I think it was the day before, um, and she, I was like, oh, this is lovely. Uh, but apparently Papa Bagnall doesn't like, like velvet. Um, <laughs> but I went back and I was like, I really actually like it. So I did actually buy it this time. Uh, so it is a dress. I haven't tried it on yet, but it is a 12, so I'm sure it'll be fine. It's got um, the floral pattern on it. It has got straps on it. But they cross over, so I don't know whether I'll be wearing them like that, or if I'll just tuck them in um, somehow um, and wear it as a whole neck. But I'm really excited to wear that um that should have been 10 pound but again only paid a fiver so amazing savings already i then had five pound left and i was like i don't know what to get now i never spend money on things like this i can't justify spending money on these things but when i saw them and i saw the reductions i had to buy them so they are Disney Mickey Mouse um, baubles for next year. They should have been a fiver, but I got them for £2 each. So I'm really excited to put those on my tree, wherever I may be, next year. Um, yeah, I've always wanted them. Finally got them because I could. I had the money and I and they will mean a lot next year when I ha finally have them on my tree. Because I know that they came from my, um, we'll say Dad, Lorraine and my granddad. Um, don't have to specify, they all gave me money. So that's, that'll be where the glitter came from on the other things. And then I just had a pound left, so I just got myself just a plain-ish. I like the little ruffly kind of um, sleeve area. And that is also a size 12. So yeah, that is my... Primark mini haul. <laughs> um, before Christmas as well, I actually treated myself. I know I'm treating myself left, right and centre here apparently. Um, but I went to Avon, so I didn't go to Avon. Avon came to me. Um, someone at my mum's work had the book and I had a look. And they had a really, really good deal. So I am experimenting a lot more with makeup as I'm going along and I've never been a lip kind of person because um, I have really dry lips and they they just crack but I treated myself to first of all it there was an eyebrow kit there was a wax and a powder um, that was I think seven pound and there was a deal if you spend seven pound you get a £32 
bundle for £12. So I did that and I got four lovely new lipsticks. So I have got on today the um, All Natural. So that's that. And considering I don't do lips, I'm quite happy with my um, application and they're not that dry it's quite moisturizing when it goes on and then also in that pack was pure pink I have worn that already and I really like the color I then got red supreme and then this was superb wine this is like a purpley color if it focuses there we go um yeah if, if anyone else buys from avon and has any am i gonna focus Ooh. yeah if anyone else buys from avon and you've got any other products that you really like um let me know because I'm, I'm always experimenting these days i want to find my luck my products but i will just do a quick swatch on my um and show you the colours. So these are the colours on my skin. So this is the pure pink, that is the supreme red, and that is the superb wine. I love them all, and I've been wearing them all. And um, I'm again, I am not really a lip person, but recently I've been wearing it. So let me know what you think. I hope you've enjoyed today's video again I know I've said it already and I know I keep saying I've said it already but thank you thank you thank you for all your support your subscribes and comments they really mean a lot to me if you don't already follow me on Instagram feel free I'll leave my uh, link below and if there is any other kind of videos you want me to do or to give me ideas they, it is very much appreciated as I say still fairly new to this whole game and I really do want to make a good go of it in 2018 but until then I really hope 2018 is the year for you good luck and I hope you have a really really nice year bye